Hey everybody, how are you doing? This is Fernand Jimenez. Oh, I can't believe it. It's going to be almost two weeks since I did my last video. Can you believe that? On a side note, that's not what I'm going to talk about today, but I think it's really interesting. You know, sometimes you get so busy that you think it's a day or two and bam, it's almost like two weeks, right? And guess what? That's just exactly how life is. You blink, there goes 10 years. You blink twice, there goes 20 years, all right? So be very, very careful what you do with your time. Okay, so let's get back to what I was talking about. I was talking about the three lessons you learn at school that keep you from reaching your full potential, okay? So we went over the first one. What was the first one? The first one is that you have to memorize everything, right? Okay, and then what's the second one? Second one is that you you gotta walk in a straight line right and then the third one that's what I'm gonna talk about today the third one is that you have to be the source of all the answers for the problems in your life right what do I mean by that yeah so when you're taking a test right you're sitting there and you're taking your test right and you're writing if you go and you look at the person next to you that's called cheating right and that's what they tell you in school so in school they tell you you have to be the one to come up with all the answers you have to know it all you know and okay before I even go any far further you know Let's just, let's just, let's, let me un explain to you what I mean by these three lessons, okay? Uh, yes, it is true. Today, modern day kids, they are not taught the way that we were taught. Me, I was born in 1973. I'm part of like Generation Xers, right? And I was like, I guess we could say the same thing of the people that were you know, the baby boomers, right? They were kind of taught the way that I was taught with those three lessons, right? Today, the kids are taught more how to critically think, right? More than, you know, using just the memorization. And they are taught how to think outside of the line. They're taught how to think outside of the box and all that good stuff. And they do know about research, about delegation. They know about not just being the only one getting the answers right so this is geared more to my people from my generation the baby boomers right but going back to that third lesson okay so school tells you that you have to be the answer right that you have to know all the answers and guess what this is where it gets delicate because this means that whenever you're dealing with a problem, if you don't have the vision, if you don't have the insight to say, hey, let me go find the expert, let me see what the expert says. If you think, ah, I'll just figure it out on my own, I'll just do it my way because you know what, that's what I was taught in school. That's where you're going to either do it wrong and, and not pursue it again or you're just not going to do it at all because you go through that analysis paralysis situation and then it's one of those things that you just avoid. So the lesson is you cannot be the one that has all the answers. Yes, it's good to know and it's good to always keep learning and it's good to always get informed, right? But when it comes down to it, why reinvent the circle? Why have to go through all the work when there's an expert out there? that knows the answers okay so this goes to not only you your person right but also a business right say you know you have you you buy a pizza shop right say you know you oh man it's really easy all you gotta do is just make pizzas and deliver but for some reason nobody's buying from you nobody's coming to your place right so what do a lot of people think oh let me go to the internet let me look up let me see a couple of websites let me see what i can get done here right and they go to the internet they try to reinvent the circle when really what they should have done is they should have gone to the pizza business expert find them have them come pizza business consultant have them come check out your business and see what's going on right so this is all the only reason why i came up with these three things these three rules is because we have this misconception here in the culture, especially in the States, right? That once you finish your schooling, your education is also over and it's completely wrong. Your schooling actually is just the, the, the starting point, is just the springboard for your education. Your education is what you do, how you train yourself, what you do with the extra hours you have after you finish your schooling and you get your job, right? That's where your education begins. So if you're the type that, you know what, no, I'm already done. I already learned everything I had to learn in school. I just got to go do my job, come home and just hang out and, you know, and watch TV and, and get entertained by fake, fake stories, right? Um, then, then you're going to blink. 10 years are going to go by. You're going to blink again. 20 years are going to go by. And then after those 20 years, what's going to happen is that you're going to be scared because you're going to be thinking, oh my God, since I didn't put in all this time, now it's hopeless. But it's not hopeless. you got to always keep pushing, all right? So always be developing those good skills. Always be networking. Always be meeting people that are doing things that you're not doing but that are in the direction where you want to go because that's how you'll be able to stretch. You'll be able to stretch with good direction, right? There's nothing worse than stretching in a bad direction but stretching because in the end you want to help people right but helping people get out of their drama is not a way a good positive way of helping people helping people get better helping people grow that's what we're talking about so keep loving keep sharing 
and keep growing okay i love you all you all have a great day and we'll keep oh i'm so excited i'm learning so much stuff i'm gonna put it together and i'm gonna share with you we're gonna have this great time okay all right have a great day